Is it hard to keep the house clean here with all these kids? <laughs> oh, you bet it is. How do you keep it all straight? It must be a lot of work for you. <laughs> well, that's where you'd be wrong. <laughs> we divide the house into jurisdictions. Best word in the English language. <laughs> uh, what does that mean exactly? Child slave labor. Oh, Jim Bob. <laughs> what he means is each child maintains their own jurisdiction or section of the house and they won't eat or see daylight until that chore is done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it works well. <laughs> and today we're going to swap the children's roles. Sort of a little fun activity to make something worth filming. <laughs> <laughs> yup. The boys will do the girls' stuff, and, and the girls will do the boys' stuff. Girls and boys. Uh, aren't those gender stereotypes? No, what did you say? Jim Bob, <laughs> why don't you take a five, <laughs> honey? I got this. Get you! Ask me that question uh, again. Women doing housework, men doing outdoor chores. <laughs> Isn't that a tired stereotype? You know, stale old gender roles. Do you realize how stupid you sound? Sorry? <laughs> You're one of those people who fools themselves into believing that men and women are truly the same. Well, yes. <laughs> well, that's simply not the case. And I'm embarrassed for you that you believe that. You see, silly, men are still quite large in comparison to women on average, and women do in fact still carry babies in their wombs and nurse them. At least last time I checked, <laughs> they're simply biological traits that can't be ignored, you see? But, but I'm not done! <laughs> to ignore those innate qualities is to ignore biology. And if you ask me a question like that again, I'll have Jim Bob crush your neck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep. Okay, honey, you can come back. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the, the boys uh, doing the girl stuff and... And uh, our big tough son Josh, who's very manly, is teaching the girls how to change a tire and, and change the oil and, and whatnot. And uh, oh. yes, it is I, Josh. <laughs> hey. I am strong and an <laughs> alpha man in hey. training. So I taught the girls how to unscrew a bolt because they didn't know how. So <gasps> so proud of him. <laughs> uh, uh, people say I should be president. I is that still a thing? Good job now, Josh. Just, just go away now, please. <laughs> Fast. Okay, walking away. Oh, I'm going uh, to Josh, oh, Josh. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and I taught the boys how to make a family favorite. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Tater tot casserole. <laughs> <laughs> it's five star cuisine. Yummy good. <laughs> it took the boys a little over six hours to retrieve all the ingredients, but eventually we got a tater tot casserole that was, well, it was subpar. Did I mention it was yummy? <laughs> <laughs> tater tots. <laughs> it was it was runny on the bottom, Jim Bob. Not good. Oh, but I like that part. I just drizzle all the greasy stuff down my gullet while I stare at the ceiling until I pass out from a tater tot coma. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, overall, I'd give it a five out of ten. But um, don't worry, I'll make sure they won't make that same mistake again. <laughs> Last chore we did was the boys and me clean the bathrooms. And uh, I like to use the scrubbing bubbles because it's really good. And I like, I like to huff the fumes a lot. It's not that toxic and has very little effect on me. So we cleaned all 72 bathrooms in 71 minutes. And I really I like the scrubbing bubbles a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, honey, now no, go lie down. <laughs> so you see, everything is just peaches. Don't, don't you worry that you're training your daughters to grow up to be stay-at-home moms? And what of it? Don't you realize that babies need a mother to nurture them? What would you like? To have a whole generation raised by daycare workers who could give two shits about them? Stop wasting my time! Okay, now someone get me a tater tot that's not too soggy, please. Oh, oh! Mm.